Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Vlogmas Day 14, which means we are 11 days away from Christmas. Like, it is so crazy. Guys, when I woke up this morning, first of all, if you're new, welcome aboard the Fierce Plane where we keep it real, we keep it cute, or we put it on mute. You guys, when I woke up this morning, my fiance was like, babe, it's snowing. I was like, what? Like, I don't know if I was living under a rock, but I seriously had not heard that it was gonna be snowing. And maybe because I also haven't been flying, I didn't know. So when I fly, I do check the weather because that is very important to me as a flight attendant. But for my flight attendant fam, guys, it has been such a crazy, like, fall, winter flying schedule. Because I kid you not, I've been trying to pick up like certain trips and they just have not been available and I'm like what like any other time those trips are available so today right like even right now as I'm recording this video I'm kind of stalking our swap group because I would like to go to LA tomorrow I've been craving Thai food and yes I mean flight attendant problems right like first world flight attendant problems like I've been craving Thai food and it's just really dope Thai restaurant downtown LA and I have a turn tomorrow so I was like hey does someone want to swap me their LA for my turn and normally people like want to drop days and take on less days so I would be taking an extra day and they would just be having one day and it gets back early they could party it up for the weekend in New York but nobody's biting so I may have to actually sign in and start sending some text messages and see if I am able to get to LA. So that's what I've been dealing with as a flight attendant during these winter or rather fall slash winter blues with flying. It's just that the schedule values are less and there's less to pick up, you know, so it's not very appetizing. But for my ladies, I wanted to show you guys some stuff. So this cute sweater that I am wearing is super soft. Like, let me bring it a little bit closer. And it's like fuzzy. You see how cute this is? So this sweater is from a company called Rose Gal and this video is sponsored by Rose Gal. We actually collaborated and I wanted to show you guys some really cute items that I picked up from the website and of course I'm giving my honest review on these guys. It's just a few things so you know when I shop for items I always think about things that I can bring with me on my layovers so that's kind of what I've been doing lately and I feel like this is such a great little cozy sweater that I can just throw it right in my flight attendant bag and like take it out on a layover. I feel like this sweater is it's warm enough that you can layer or if you're somewhere that's like 65 70 degrees you can just kind of wear it by itself off the shoulder and it's super cute because you know i like to be cute so the first thing that i want to show you guys well i guess the second thing because i showed you guys the sweater but i picked up this really cute two-piece right so it is these shorts that say love around the waist it's like a, it's a workout outfit and i picked this up in a size is this I picked this up in a large because even though I'm skinny, I got a little booty, right? So like the shorts are perfect, but the top, because ain't much going on up top, the top is kind of big. So I will say that I feel, it probably doesn't look as big on camera, but I do feel like the top should have been a medium and the bottom should have been a large. So this is super cute. I can wear this for my layovers when I'm working out in the gym. I picked up these khaki or nude high waist jeans, which I really, really love. And they have good stretch to them, kind of like the black jeans that I reviewed from Boohoo last week. Um, or rather not last week, but like probably last video or a couple of days ago. I picked up this black off the shoulder bodysuit and it may look kind of big but it's not it's lacy and I'm really loving things that are off the shoulder and things that are like flexible I think it's just super cute I just really you know that you guys know like that's my word super cute right so guys check out or ladies check out this bodysuit so it is a floral print white based bodysuit and it snaps below i think this would look really nice with a skirt or tucked into some jeans so 
So everything that I'm showing you guys, I will have the links down below. You can just click it and go check it out. And I will say that it took about two weeks to get to me from Rose Gal. I'm not quite sure exactly where the company is based, but it took some time. So I also wanted to show you guys, I picked up a few swimsuits because given the, uh, given that it's getting cold here in New York City, I am either going to be non revving with my boo or having some layovers in warm places because I need warmth. Like I'm a summer baby that needs warmth. So I picked up this really adorable scalloped bikini. This is the top of it. So it's a very, very light pink. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see it given the ring light. So let me turn that down a little bit so you can see it's a very light pink. So it's a light pink top. And this is what the bottom looks like. It just ties as normal, but it's a scalloped bikini. I think it's really, really cute. And you guys know I love a lot of color. I like to play around with color. So I picked up this monokini. And I picked this up in a size large just because I have a longer body. That's like the best way to put it. Like I'm just long. So I knew that this would fit perfectly. And it does. I love the detailing on it. This is the back of it. So cute, adorable. And the next is this, the third bikini and the last bikini is this two piece high waist, uh, kind of like a leafy print bathing suit. So this is the bottom, it's high waist, and this is the top. Just your standard sort of bikini, top and bottom, but I thought it was really, really cute. I could see myself rocking this like a hat some sunglasses a drink in my hand like don't you guys already see the picture it's like you're starting to see the picture already on my instagram right you see it and the next is i picked up this two-piece workout suit so this is the top it's a jacket and the bottom is these pants now when you look at the pants i know you said to yourself like what the heck is that that's the same thing i said when i got it this is a pad. I don't know if it's for like maybe someone who rides a bike. <laughs> it like protects your butt and your, uh, you know, your area. But I'm not going to be able to wear these because the pad looks crazy to me. This is the pad. It's like a whole pad on the inside. Like that's wild. They're really great material. It's just that the pad is uncomfortable. When I tried it on, I really didn't like it. I tried to remove the pad and then I realized that I was cutting rips into this. So um, I was cutting like rips and holes. So that was a negative on the negative. That's not gonna work, but I really, really love this jacket. And I, you know, I have to pick up something that has pink in it, you guys, because that's my favorite color. And it goes with my sneakers or any sneakers that I choose to wear, whether, whether they are black, white, or whatever. Now, the last thing that I picked up is, I just wanted to see, I ordered this wig. Um, and this wig is definitely, I know for me dog. But here is the wig from Rose Gal. It looks crazy out the packaging, right? So it is the lace based wig, they said. So I'm thinking what I could do with this is I'm gonna put, um, I'm not gonna wear this. I'm gonna give it to my mom. I'm actually gonna cut it into a bob. The, the curl pattern on it is very gorgeous. I'm gonna cut it into a bob and I'm gonna pluck it and I'm gonna just give it to my mom so she can add it to her collection because we love wigs up in this family. Um, but it's really, really soft. It's just that it's, it didn't look anything like the picture so I wasn't impressed. So these are the items that I got from Rose Gal and I will say, that aside from like that butt pad the items are pretty good and they're definitely reasonable the only thing i would say is that the shipping took a little bit longer than expected and the other thing is that wig look a little crazy to me so check this out right so my monthly bids are due on the 13th of every month by 8 a.m so yesterday i woke up like i you know I didn't really need anything specific in January, so it wasn't, like I got what I wanted for Christmas, like the holidays are usually like the most important, right? So like, I was just like, oh, I'll bid, I'll bid, I'll bid. I kept telling myself, oh yeah, I'll get around to it. 
Y'all, yesterday morning I woke up and I'm just like checking email and responding. Then I look at the time, it was like, babe, it's 7.32. It's December 13th. I had to like think about it, I was like, and I have not bid. My bids are due in 28 minutes. So then I was like, heck, what do I want to bid for? So I had to go in and look and see what trips were out next month. So I bid for like a ton of LA, cause like I really love LA. I need to get to LA to handle some business and do some stuff. So, and, and plus like I've been craving this Thai food, right? So I put my bids in, I bid for my days off and like literally I submitted everything at 7.59. At eight o'clock, like the whole screen changed and you're like, I was like locked out. I wouldn't have been able to bid any further. There's one other question that I wanted to answer. Oh, I got two, hold on. I got two responses. Aww. Okay, so. Okay, so these responses are like not, they're, 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 we have a flight attendant group, so that's what the responses was. I thought it was in relation to my LA, like, or rather my turn that I want to swap for LA, but that was a no for me, dog. So, okay, someone asked me the other day, um, will we see you vlogging in uniform in the terminal? And they said that they really missed that. And I responded to that person, but I want to respond will rather address it with everyone. So you guys, you will never see me vlogging in the terminal in uniform again. For me, it's personally like too disruptive to my workflow. You know, I have bags, I have to be conscious of what I'm doing. It's just a lot going on. So for me to be walking through the airport with my vlogging camera, holding my hand grip, it's just way too much going on. Plus, truth be told, I really don't enjoy vlogging flight attendant life in uniform. Like, I enjoy vlogging, but not like when I'm in uniform. I don't know, for me, like in my head, just real talk, it just seems so unprofessional in a sense because like I'm in the terminal right I'm vlogging and then I have passengers looking at me but then the same, same people might be on board my aircraft it just doesn't for me personally I just don't like the way that it makes me feel I always want to be taken as a professional while I, I am at work so check this out right look at it like this if you are a hairstylist, right? But like you also bartend, would you be doing someone's hair at your bar? Probably not, right? But like you have two jobs, right? But you are a hairstylist and you bartend. You're not gonna do somebody's hair at the bar because you're supposed to be making drinks for your customers. That's the same way I view YouTube and flight attendant vlogging. So. I just decided that's not something that I want to do. Um, I know that you guys are like, oh man, I missed that. But if there's anything that you've taken from me, I want you to take away how to become a flight attendant, why you want to become a flight attendant, you know, how to go about earning your wings, how to get through training, how to survive probation, how to make flight attendant life work for you if you're in a relationship and all those things. That's what I want you to get from me. I don't want you to, you know, get caught up in the filming of it because I'm just gonna tell you, the stuff that you guys really wanna see, I can't film. Like I wouldn't be able to do that anyway. It's when you become a flight attendant and you get your wings and you're on the aircraft that you see how it really goes down. So I hope that answers your question. And sorry guys that, you know, some of you are gonna be disappointed behind that but it just it's not gonna go down I you know I, and I really I'm just you know because I got to keep it real and I, because I have to be honest I really didn't enjoy it like I really didn't enjoy vlogging as a flight attendant because I felt so stiff right 
Cause like I'm in this uniform, my hair is back. Cause y'all know I'm about compliance. Like I'm not walking through the airport with my hair down or looking crazy or my, my, my makeup's not done or my nails are not done or I'm, I'm not looking trashy as a flight attendant. Like for me, I've always envisioned this Pan Am glamour of a flight attendant. So that's why I set a certain standard for myself when I am in uniform and I just feel like that standard that I set for myself when I'm vlogging, it's that's not my it's like breaking my rules. It's like breaking the rules that I set for myself. So it just doesn't really go hand in hand for me. It's disruptive, it's not cute, it's not, you know, appealing. And again, I want to be taken as a professional and I just don't think that you can be taken as a professional if you are vlogging through the airport as a flight attendant. Now, maybe you can, but I just feel like for my personal brand that doesn't quite work. Um but if I am non-revving, I will absolutely vlog it because at that point, I'm not in uniform and I'm just a person, right? Like I'm just another around the way girl. Um, if I am on layovers, I will certainly vlog the city, the state, the country, wherever I am. Or if I non-rev and I'm just like, I wanna show you guys certain areas or whatever, I will do that. So I want you guys to just have a complete understanding and just know that like even when you earn your wings, it sounds good to be like, oh, I'm gonna be a flight attendant vlogger, I'm gonna vlog everywhere, but <laughs> nah, probably not gonna happen. Cause there's a couple things that need to happen. You need to just make sure that you're being respective of your company policy and you don't wanna get in trouble behind that. And the second thing is you just also want to be taken as a professional. I want that for you. That is our little chit chat for day 14 of Vlogmas. If you are interested in any of the items that I showed you, the links are down below. Feel free to click away and get your life and all that good stuff. So that wraps up our video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Make sure you continue to stay beautiful from the inside to the out. You let your light shine and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.